Hello, hello, hello. I have not seen you for a while in a vlog. I have to say that oh, this has been a lot of things happening. And right now it's Monday and it's my vacation, which is happening in quarantine. And initially it wasn't supposed to happen in quarantine. We were supposed to be in England at this time, but uh, it's happening in quarantine and I have to make the best out of it. So I'll bring you along with me and show you what I'm doing on my vacation in quarantine. Today it's like 9 a.m. right now and I already been awake for a while this reading and now my plan is to fill in some five minute journal. Although you're supposed to be like doing it super early in the morning. Sometimes I do it a bit later during the day when I have a moment and if you don't know what it is, it's like a gratitude journal. So you write the things you're grateful for and to the end of the day you write the great things that happened to you during the day. I find it pretty helpful right now to just find for the positive things in your day. And once I'm done, I'll um, do a little workout. Um, so mostly stretching and yoga, but probably I'll do um, something before that, like a short um, full body workout to just uh, warm up my body because it's much easier to stretching once you have warmed up your body. And um, yeah, that's the plan for now. And later on, I will probably be brainstorming some uh, ideas for the YouTube series that I just came up with. So it's gonna be something different from what I'm already doing. And I think that's the beauty of it, right? Because it's such a new channel that I'm creating that I have a lot of a platform to experiment. And I think you need to keep your mind open and always ask what you are really interested in. Hi, buddy, come here. Nope, that, that was the dog. Um, it's the beauty of it because you can ask yourself questions if you're really enjoying what you're doing and experiment with it and really find things that you love doing. But how do you find them? By trying them, right? So, so far I think my channel has been sort of like self-growth, self-development topic, which I really like and which I'm very interested in. But I feel like I've always sort of imposed that stereotype of intellectual well-read person on myself and this is what I wanted to project and now I think I want to open a different side of me which is more fun and creative and just going with the flow and I think the new new series that I came up with and I'll talk about it later is going to be a perfect extension of that and a perfect opportunity to try that Although I still love self-development and self-growth, I think this is might not be exactly what I would want it to deliver. So we'll see how it goes. And today this would be the time to brainstorm, prepare, create a little strategy for the next videos. Since I'm on vacation the whole week, I have a lot of time to work through this and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this little project some other stuff that are in the plans so vacation is to declutter my wardrobe i don't have a lot of stuff already but there's just some stuff that i never wear and i generally want to move to more meaningful minimalistic consumption just having a good basic wardrobe that you combine with many things and which i don't think i have right now so maybe going through stuff, seeing if there's anything I might want to sell, anything that I don't wear anymore, and things like that. So that would be another goal. The other one is a lot of reading, a lot of exercising, a lot of meaningful activities. I know that's kind of what already everybody's doing during the quarantine, but I was actually working, so I didn't have a quarantine time off. So this would be a perfect opportunity to do all these things all right let me go change and we'll start with a little bit of workout and uh, stretching and yoga
have breakfast in the making in the making and this is gonna be a little omelet with the mushrooms look at this perfection I did not even need to break it apart to remove it from the pan I'm getting better. I always failed at making omelets. All right, I just had my breakfast. I took a shower, did some house cleaning work, and actually got two of the books that I ordered in the mail. Uh, I ordered these from a Canadian store called Indigo Chapters. They have pretty good book selection, and one of them is on emotional intelligence. I'm just kind of hoping this one is going to help me at my work or just have some good advice. These are 10 most, um, 10 must reads or 10 best articles on emotional intelligence uh, from Harvard Business Review. So these are actually like scientific information in there, which I'm really excited about. I feel like there's a lot of advice on emotional intelligence and how to deal with things, but it's sort of coming from self-proclaimed gurus which is fine, but sometimes you want a more evidence and research in there. So that's the first one, I'm pretty excited about that. It's not very huge, so 150 pages. I should be able to get through it this week while I'm on vacation. And the other one is Anne Lamott, New, um, Bird by Bird, and this is some advice on writing and life. I am very curious to read this. I have been, have been recommended this book by a few people, so we will see. I don't know. Um, I'll tell you how it was. And um, right now I'm reading The City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's pretty interesting. I have to say that got me pulled in. And once I'm done, I'm going to tell you as well what I think of it. I'm like halfway through. I just started a few days ago, but the book is pretty interesting. And what I'm doing right now is um, mind map, actually. So I know some people set their resolutions and New Year resolutions and all kind of goals and things like that. What I do every two or three years is just make a mind map and sort of dump all the thoughts in there what how i see my life in different areas what i want to prove what i want to work on i feel like it's sort of an equivalent to bullet journaling but people do it more consistently like they sort of write in different areas what they want to work on and things like that for me i feel like having a mind map is just having the big picture and then i add the details to it so i find this approach pretty helpful this is how my mind map looks like just bear with me while i flip this <laughs> over so it's just i glued some a4 sheets of paper there's uh nine of them and then i'm going to um split it like it probably in four areas and one will be professional personal spiritual and physical and i'll just gonna write down there all my thoughts what i want to work on what i want to prove and i feel like having that big picture at a glance is a really good motivator for me um, in one place. This is like sort of what I want to be. I found that exercise super useful. I did it before and now that I'm on vacation at home and I have time to deal with this, I'm um, going to do the exercise again. And I really recommend to do it because it like gives you a sense of where you're going versus just um, going with the flow. And I think a big problem right now, not a big it's not a problem, but I feel like um, many people don't question where they're going. They're just sort of going through their life with the expectation that everybody puts on them. You know, first you go to university and then you get a job and then you marry and then you have kids and then you raise kids and then you enjoy your life and then you die. I, I mean, this is a very <laughs> simplified um uh, overview of it, but I think that it's very important to question why you're doing something. What do you want to be? When do you want to have children? When do you want to marry? And not be pressured by society. Uh, I have been with my partner, I think, for almost five. We met six years ago and we're, we're living together for five years almost. 
and um, we don't have children yet and this is the question that we get very often and I just feel like it's gonna be time and I would love to have children eventually but I could see how the questions can become can be coming towards you and um, you know you when you live with somebody for a long time and then you have a house and everybody just has specific expectations from you and I think it's important to question all these expectations and really ask is this important to me right now is this what I want to do right now maybe you have other goals there's nothing wrong with having children or not having children it's just your decision and it's important to make the decision based on your on your thoughts and your wants and your needs versus what people are expecting of you Anyway, a very, very long speech for me, but I feel very passionate about it just because I see so, so many young people doing that and just not questioning what's being thrown at them and that upsets me. Anyway, I'm gonna move on with my mind map and once uh, I'm done, I'll do a quick lunch and head to the grocery store. I haven't been to the grocery store for like three weeks. Um, my partner usually goes and I'm excited. It's like a whole new adventure to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to go to the grocery, pick up some things for the videos that I want to film tomorrow. This is going to be a very exciting new series that I came up with. And then I'll take the dog out probably for a long nice stroll since I didn't run today. I try to do one activity every day, like um, um, either one hour long walk or a run. But today is pretty windy, although it's not that cold. It's quite windy and I don't really enjoy running <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> Because uh, I just feel like I'm suffocating. And um, and I also did a workout this morning, so it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, and then we'll do dinner and all the fun things and start on, on our evening together with my partner. Which is always for me the most exciting part of the day. So let's move on with the mind map. I'll film you a little bit behind the scenes. Okay, so for dinner we'll be doing some lentil pasta. So here I have a chopped onion, chopped um, four cloves of garlic. Then I have some pepper, like um, green chili pepper and some spices. I'm gonna start cooking it with the oil um, for a few minutes. And after we'll add some half, uh, one thirty cup of sun-dried tomatoes that are here. Then we have a cup of olives. We have... Um, and almost two cups, oh, more, a bit more than half and a cup and a half of um, lentils. And we're gonna chop some tomatoes at there. This is the pasta that we will be using, and this is the sauce that we will be using. And we're gonna add some capers on the top. And the last thing that we will add on the top will be like a, two cups of chopped spinach, but you add them really at the very end, otherwise, it's going to get. Um, really soggy and not nice so let's get cooking and uh, I have a little sunburn on my face as you can see the first uh, summer sun so I'm just starting to fry those I added a little bit of um, olive oil and I'm gonna start mixing them up and the herbs that are there is just like Italian seasoning mix but I didn't have those so I just used the um, like a French herbs, Provence is called a Provence herbs. So um, once these sort of become golden, we're going to add um, a bunch of other ingredients like pasta, tomato sauce, and the tomato sauce, pasta will actually be cooking into the tomato sauce. So let's get going. All right, so I added here the olives, the capers, the lentils, the pasta, the tomato sauce. Put it all in the low heat and we're gonna wait 
I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes to see. And then we're gonna add our spinach at the end. And in the meantime, I still need to chop two tomatoes to add to this. 